Hey, Eric, how you doing? Um, I, I guess first off, Trevin, you know, he was outstanding today, shooting wise, really for the whole trip. What do you think his uh, game today uh, and just his performance on the whole tour? Uh, I thought he played incredible uh, the entire time. Um, I mean, he's played again. I know it's, you know, I know it's exhibition games and all that, but he, uh, I mean, he's, he played as well as, as, as any guy that, that I've seen play over a, a four game stretch. I mean, if you look at his numbers, uh, they're absolutely insane, uh, what he's done. And, uh, you know, I mean, he, he's just so quick to the ball. He's so long. He runs the floor. He can play facing the basket. He can play with his back to the basket. Uh, I thought he was, like I said, just unbelievable. Um, he's got an incredible, incredible future ahead of him as, as well. Now, that one-handed dunk he had, I think it was off of Walsh miss. Um, what, what do you remember about that play? Just, you know, he makes a sports center probably about two a game in this, you know, four game sample. So the team we played tonight, um, they were a good team. They were well coached. They're really experienced. Um, I thought defensively, we, we played as good as we've played in a long time. Um, offensively, the only, you know, the, there's two areas of concern. The turnovers are, are ridiculous. Um, words can't describe how concerned I am about our turnovers. Um, our three point shootings got to improve. I didn't think it could, could, could match last year, but, but it kind of is. Um, so in a short amount of time, meaning September and October, we have some guys that really got to work on taking care of the ball. Um, and then we got to, you know, we got to, got to improve perimeter shooting, but tonight, defensively I've been a little bit concerned about our defense through three games but tonight against a good team a smart team a team that cuts well uh we were we were phenomenal yeah, four and on the trip looked like you guys had a lot of fun away from the court as well just how would you sum up the whole trip on and off the court and just how, how good it was for y'all yeah I thought it was phenomenal um you know a lot of guys got opportunities we got to see some things you know different combinations we started four different starting units um, off the floor, you know, we visited three countries. Um, you know, we, we're with the tour company and, and uh, they said that they'd never seen a team uh, have so much freedom during the trip. Um, they talked about the day of game, us still doing events um, and how we maximized uh, the educational piece of this trip. Um, again, I'm, I've never traveled with another team other than our own and, and just hearing how teams aren't allowed out of their hotel um, the day of the game. And, and um, our guys had a lot of freedom. I thought they conducted themselves really well. Um, and then they were able to turn the switch once we had to compete and play a game. Um, you know, so a lot of positives. Yeah. I might have a couple more time allows. I'll, I'll turn it back to Fuller. Th thanks, Eric. Thanks. Right. Bob. Yeah. Christina. Is that me Fuller? Okay, cool. Hi, Coach. Um, you mentioned turnovers and threes. Um, are there any other wrinkles that you saw that kind of need to be ironed out over the next couple months? Well, I, th I mean, oh, thank goodness that we, you know, that we had this, uh, you know, this every four years you're allowed to do this. And thank goodness we had the opportunity with so many new faces. Uh, but some things really started to materialize over this trip. Kamani Johnson played really well. Uh, we talked about TB's performance. Uh, Ricky Council did a great job. Um, but, but what we're able to do now, Christine is we're, you know, like Ricky council, maybe handle the ball a little bit more than I had perceived. So, you know, what is he going to do over the next eight weeks to become a better ball handler when we need an emergency, uh, pick and roll player? Um, obviously, you know, our freshmen, you know, they threw way too many lobs and turned the ball over way too much. Um, you know, and, and I think that that's part of the growth. Um, you look at look at our point guard turnovers tonight uh, between Devo, AB, and Nick. That's got to get a lot better. So, uh, but a lot of good things. You know, there weren't many shot clock violations with the twenty four second shot clock. I think that um, further cements how quick we like to play and how we have a lot of NBA quick hitting 
you know, sets that don't need a lot of time to develop. I think that that's evidence that that's the case on our style of play, because I was concerned with the shorter shot clock that we would have a lot of shot clock violations, but we beat a really good team, a really experienced team with 30 turnovers. Um, and that's what happens when you have a lot of new guys, you're going to turn the ball over a lot. And obviously our goal is nine. And, and so that's got to drastically, drastically improve, but now we're able to go back and work on it. And then you mentioned Kamani, but just what did you think of his tour on the whole and then what he and Devo kind of provided as veterans over these four games? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I thought both of them were really good um, in a lot of different areas. Devo's got to take way better care of the ball, um, you know, than he did tonight. Um, we need both of them to be stabilizing guys that can get guys into sets. We've got to, we've got to become way better at inbounding the ball. Um, we were way too careless on side out of bounds, inbound passes, way too careless on baseline out of bounds. And what we found is we're having all these turnovers in the middle of field. Um, and I talked to our team just about, you know, how hard it is sometimes for wide receivers when they do a down and in compared to a down and out. And when you talk to wide receivers, how a lot of guys like to catch balls in football on the sideline rather than up the middle. And we're trying to give our big guys, you know, passes while they're running at full speed at the free throw line that that puts our big men in a difficult situation no different than if you have a guy do it down and in across the field and there's four defensive backs or linebackers waiting to clock them and so we've we, we we've got to become way better quarterbacks and envisioning who we're passing the ball to and where we're passing them the ball to all right andrew Coach, I think after y'all's second game, you specifically mentioned that Trevin had just one rebound. And I think in the last two games, he had seven and then nine today. Do you feel like he got the message there with the attack in the glass? He got the message all right. He and he, <laughs> every time I looked over, he and Coach Ruda had a side conversation about how many rebounds he had. So he he got it loud and clear. And then I don't think that Nick played in the second half. I think he he got dinged up there in the first half, maybe. Could you provide an update on him? Yeah, we think he's going to be fine. He, he uh, you know, slipped on the floor. Um, you know, the knee was checked out uh, by the trainer and doctor. Um, first degree sprain. Um, could have played. Um, I was not going to, you know, jeopardize him, uh, you know, at this time of the year to play probably in a regular season game. Uh, we would have let him get loose at halftime. And then, uh, you know, he probably would have played. Uh, but again, at this particular time, we were able to see a couple other guys get some minutes and and uh, I did not want to jeopardize, you know, him going back out there. And it looked like he was still pretty active, standing up on the sideline, directing guys. I mean, was that encouraging to see, especially from a freshman? Yeah, he's he's he's, you know, got great leadership, really competitive. Um, no surprise. He's you know, he's a guy that hates to lose. So really no surprise on that at all. Uh, Curtis. Hey, coach, I, I guess what's next on the horizon for you guys? Once you get home, do you do you give them a little bit of time off before you get back after it? And then I know you're a you're a competitive guy. You like the game. So is there going to be an adjustment in mindset to be had from going from playing four games in the competition to back to practice mode for a couple months? Yeah, it's hard. I mean, you got you know, you got a good eight weeks ahead of you. Um, obviously, you know, school doesn't start until Monday. Um, so the guys, you know, once we get back to the United States, the guys are free to do whatever they need to do uh, to get ready for a school year. You know, obviously now they're going to have five classes, most of them. Um, so their time to really improve is they're going to have to be great time managers over the next eight weeks because, you know, we're still in about a four and a half week time frame where we're going to go right back to only four hours a week with them. So their individual uh productivity that they do on their own time is going to be of the utmost importance. And did you feel like overall that what you saw on the floor in these four games kind of carried over from what you saw in practice or, or was there maybe a guy or two who you qualify as a, as a gamer or maybe someone who surprised you? Yeah. I mean, I think that, well, first of all, um, you know, I was happy with our first game, uh, disappointed, uh, whatever you want, whatever other word or you want to use um, along those same lines in games two and three, I thought we were 
terrible defensively at times, careless with the ball. Uh, but I am, you know, not often, but tonight I'm, I'm really happy with, with how we played both sides of the ball other than the turnovers. And I think the turnovers are something that, look, when you play high school basketball, turnovers are accepted because your talent can take over. They're, you can't turn the ball over to win in the SEC. There's too many close games. So now we have concrete evidence to show guys what we have to do better. So I, I'm really, really happy, uh, Curtis, because I thought we got better with each game. I really did. I thought tonight, that first quarter defensively, I don't know if I've seen a team, you know, suffocate another team. And we had so many goals. Like, we didn't want Skyler to, to get off and have a good game. He's from Arkansas. You know, family members are tweeting. He went one to 12. We, we put a target on him um, and we did a great job on him. And, and we did a good job on some of their other American players. And, and uh, you know, we knew that, that their center is one of the best centers in Europe. And um, their experience, you got to think about the age difference between, you know, you're running out there with, you got six freshmen and they got guys that have played 11 years in, in, the, in, in pro ball. But, um, like I said, really well coached team. And so when you can, I mean, they, they could not even get good looks at the rim in the first quarter. And then as the game progressed, they got a little bit more confidence. Uh, we subbed and, and defense kind of slipped a little bit. Uh, Scotty. Yeah, Eric, I think pre-trip, you mentioned that guys were going to have to get adjusted to the way that traveling is called um, overseas guys with a quick first step more normally get whistled a little bit more how, how do you evaluate turnovers when you know some some turnovers over there may not be necessarily a travel you know maybe when your your season officially starts well we've charted all the turnovers I have them all on I don't have yet, tonight's clip yet but I'll go back and I mean I don't know shit how, we're, excuse my language we're gonna have um I, maybe a hundred turnovers to watch in four games um I mean, I don't know what, I mean, that's going to take a lot of time, but we do have a long flight tomorrow. So I'll be able to watch the turnover, see where they happened on the floor and, um, you know, take it from there. I guess, I guess you mentioned the first quarter defense. Um, I guess just thoughts on your guys kind of meeting the challenge to, to start the game and just giving up one field goal in that first 10 minutes. Yeah. Again, just, uh, you know, we had high active hands. We, covered their pick and roll well we only you know talked about four guys from a personnel standpoint I thought they knew the personnel of each guy um as good of 10 minutes that I've seen a team play defensively tonight and then maybe just overall thoughts on on Ricky's four games I think he was close to 11 and 6 for the trip yeah Ricky played great um you know, his de degree of difficulty dunk that he missed. Not many guys can even attempt that in live action. Now we just want him to understand, just tomahawk it and give us two points rather than, I don't know what that dunk was called. You'll have to ask him. He's sitting here waiting to jump on. So I, but spectacular athlete. I thought he improved defensively, um, but he's a guy that we're going to need him to, 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 you know, to score in spurts for us. We're going to need him to improve offensively from a from a ball handling standpoint, which I know he will. Um, you know, we're going to I mean, we on this trip, we probably used him a little bit more as, as a point forward than maybe he's been used in the past, especially tonight. Thanks, coach. Ricky.